Now we're going to finish calculating the cost of vending inventory. We've just realized that the cost of our goods sold is $34.39. So now we have to ask ourselves how much units we have left. And we know we have how many units left because it never changes. We always have seven units left. So we need to figure out where are those seven units coming from by calculating the average of those seven units. So I want you guys to focus on the very last calculation we've done down here. Those last seven units that we sold had an average cost of $2.95 based on this calculation right here. And we started out with 13 units originally with an average cost of $2.95. But we just finished selling eight units. Seven. Just finished selling seven units. I'm sorry. So how many units do we have left with an average cost of $2.95? Seven from 13, that gives us what? Uh, six. So we have six units left with an average cost of $2.95, right? But we have seven units total left. So where is the other one coming from? Some of you guys may already pointed out the very last purchase. The very last purchase of one unit at five bucks. So now we have two sets with different prices that we have to calculate the average cost for our ending inventory. So how are we going to do that? We know that our we know that our ending inventory we have seven units, right? And to calculate that, we know that our uh, We know that we have six units at an average cost of remaining of $2.95. And of course, we made that very last purchase of one unit at $5. And so the units available is seven units. That's going to be our denominator. And our numerator is going to be the cost of those seven units, right? And so I'm going to have to pull out my calculator. We know that one times five is five. And we're about to find out that six times 2.95 gives us $17.70. $17.70. So we're going to add the $17.70 plus the five dollars that gives us twenty two dollars and seventy cents that's going to be our numerator twenty two dollars and seventy cents for our new average cost calculation for ending inventory so as you can see we have twenty two dollars and seventy cents that we're going to divide into seven units to get our average cost so once we divide that into seven units it gives us three dollars and twenty five cents we always round up two decimal points over and so seven units are going to stay in ending inventory at an average cost of three dollars and twenty five cents we're going to calculate that to find out the total cost because that's our final answer and so we're going to take three dollars and 25 cents multiplied times seven dollars and it will give us twenty two dollars and seventy five cents twenty two dollars and seventy five cents and of course it might be different from the twenty two dollars and seventy cents because of rounding so don't worry about that that's the right answer so to summarize our average cost Cost of goods sold is $34.39, and the cost of our ending inventory is $22.79. Rewatch this video a few times. This is a very, rather difficult concept, and one of those times that you're watching it, I would like for you to work the problem with it so you can get familiar with the mechanics, okay?